welcome to uh, Fitz on Flicks. I'm Fitz, I'm from Murph. I am Spockalicious today. <laughs> you certainly are. I could have told you that, but you told me. Hey, this week we saw a movie called Star Trek. Uh, Long awaited, big time summer blockbuster showing up here finally. Mm -hmm. We saw it. Murph, did you like it? What'd you think? What's the movie about? Okay, this is uh, Star Trek. It's uh, a movie based on the television show and the movies before. It's kind of a reimagining of, of the story um, in a new way. J.J. Abrams does this one. You know him from Lost. Uh, he wrote Taking Care of Business, more oh, importantly. Yes. Um, and you got Captain Kirk. Charles Grodin. You got Spock. You got Scotty, Sulu, mm -hmm. all the old people as young. This is basically how they became... Uh, to be on the Enterprise, the mm -hmm. USS Enterprise, which is a ship in space, mm -hmm. um, and it's, I don't want to give too much away, because I think it's one of those movies, if you don't know a lot going into it, it's going to work out good. But they basically fight the bad guy, Eric Bana plays um, Nero, who's their um, nemesis in this film. Um, Fitz, what did you think about this movie? I 100% completely loved it. I don't think there is anything about the film I didn't love. Um, and that's rare. A lot of movies, even ones I really love, you, you can find something mm -hmm. bad about it. Um, this was pretty close to movie making, summertime, blockbuster perfection, the way it's supposed to be done. Uh, mm -hmm. Every character was so well thought out, written out. I mean, granted, they're all based on characters that were done 30, 40 years ago. Mm -hmm. But you say, we, we haven't seen them this young, we haven't seen them when they're just learning their craft, and uh, it, it's unbelievable. It's thrilling. I had the chills in this movie. Oh, me too. I mean, like five or six Absolutely. times of scenes, just be, due to their total awesomeness. I realize I'm watching something com so completely awesome, I actually got the chills at different points. Um, this movie, to me, and some of you agree, this is not just for Trekkies, okay? If you're, no. a tre if you're a Trekkie, I mean, I've never been a Star Trek guy myself. Me either. I, I don't hate Star Trek, it's just not my thing. Um, but, you do, you know, there are obviously a lot of people out there called Trekkies who are obsessed with this. From judging from the reaction I, I, in the theater, when I was in the theater, and you could tell that there were definitely some Trekkies in that audience. Um, mm -hmm. You could tell there were some people who were, you know, just super cool like us. Mm -hmm. um, Everyone seemed to love this movie. I'm running into people at bars who have seen this movie now, and it goes right along with that. Trucky or non trucky you're going to enjoy this movie. This is done just incredibly smart, incredibly intelligent. Uh, I mean, really. Absolutely. J.J. Abrams has a knack for making things look awesome. Like Mission yeah. Impossible 3, not the greatest movie, but it looked amazing. And mm -hmm. this one just blew my mind. Just a lot of the shots, uh, just the, the acting. Just the way that he mm -hmm. got the actors. Chris Pine, I've never even heard of this guy. Me neither. He played, he played James T. Kirk. Yep. He was fantastic, amazing. Zachary Quinto. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, from Heroes, and then if you guys remember 24 season 3, boom. Mm -hmm. um, you know, he's in that too. Incredible as Spock. Um, you got, I mean, just a few standouts here. Uh, is it John Cho? John Cho? John Cho. From, um, Harold and Kumar movies. Mm -hmm. You got him playing Sulu. Uh, you got Simon Pegg as Scotty, who is just. Oh, he was he's great. Wonderful in it. And um, I think actually the, my biggest surprise or the biggest find in this movie, the guy that played Dr. Was it McCoy? Dr. Dr. McCoy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, his name is something. Carl. Something. Carl Urban. Carl Urban. Awesome. Awesome. Oh, I could watch. A, I could watch a whole movie about this guy. He's so mm -hmm. kick-ass in this movie. Um, even you got Winona Ryder in this. I want to say she steals the movie like she steals clothes off the racks, but I won't do that. <laughs> that joke is ridiculous. Oh, and you know, um, you know who great. else was awesome? Eric Bana. Just blew my mind because I mean, mm -hmm. I, I'm kind of iffy with him, but oh man, he was so good. He played the evil Nero. Mm -hmm. he and had a lot of passion. And what's great about this movie, real quick, you know, then we're gonna wrap this up here, but. The, Eric Bana, the character, we talked about last week, Watchmen, which I wasn't a fan of, and I said that, uh, Wolverine, hey, actually. Oh, I'm sorry, Wolverine. Close. Um, I think that, you know, the characters in Wolverine, you, you had your typical bad guy, and there's no real reason for him to be bad guy. He's just, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm grumpy, I'm bad. And I hate that in movies, when the bad guy is just a bad guy for no reason. In this one, Eric Bana's character, Nero, he has a real reason why he wants to mm -hmm. destroy and kill all these people. Does it make him right? But you you get why he's mad. He's mm -hmm. not just one dimensional. He's a guy that had a family, had a whatever, and things happen. So, all in all, this movie is wonderful. I Absolutely. can't say enough about it. I'm probably going to see it again in the theater. I, I really like it that much. Um, yeah. I really want all of you to check it out. Check out Star Trek. You will be so glad you did. 
Uh, anything else, Mark? You good? Best movie so far I've seen this year. Mm -hmm. Big ups to Leonard Nimoy. Big, big ups to Leonard Nimoy. Best movie of the year. And um, I suppose that's it. So you guys, check us out on fitsonflix.com. Check out Star Trek, and we will talk to you soon. Take care.